Supreme Court upholds Sidumbu's election and dismisses Atiku's appeals. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The Supreme Court on Thursday dismissed the appeals of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, while affirming the election victory of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressives Congress as the winner of the February 25th, 2023 elections. The informant report that the Supreme Court, through Dr. Fastus Akande, the Director of Information on the Apex Court on Wednesday, announced October 26th tomorrow for judgment in the appeals by Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Atiku Abubakar, and P2B, the Labour Party LP. Challenging February 25th presidential election, which produced President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. It was earlier learned that both the People Democratic Party and Labour Party had on Monday argued the cases before the Apex Court, while the appeal of the Lad People's Movement APL and its presidential candidate Chichi Oje was dismissed after the, they withdrew it. The presidential election petition court had on September 6th dismissed the petitions of both parties for lack of evidence, but Obi and Atiku filed for peace at the Supreme Court. Now, let me say this. You know, when this news came out, you know, people, like, I was like, I don't know about you people, but me, I know I saw this thing coming. It's not, it's not like, it's not like a big deal. Yeah, I saw this thing coming. It was like, how am I going to put it? <laughs> it was like we knew this was going to happen. This is why I was telling people, prep yourself. Make sure your shock absorber is not made of plastic. It doesn't melt or it doesn't, it's not made of glass. It doesn't break. You understand? <laughs> it's not made of light fabric that could tear. You understand? Make sure your shock absorber is very strong. And the thing is, whether you like it or not, both the Supreme Court, both the PEPT, both the APC, whether they like it or not, they have actually rewrote history. <laughs> yes! You see that particular phrase in the, what's it called, in the Constitution, where they say, you know, one of the, it is, I think it's among, is it the Electoral Act? It's not the Electoral Act. But it has to do with the elections, you know. I think it's part of the electorate where they say, you know, if, uh, the, the candidate that wins must have 25% in FCT. And, you know, and I, I, I can't really, my brain, no day won't please now. You get, but I, that particular phrase, they don't use their hands, scatter that phrase. Now, I think Abu Jashi, they should come outside and be saying, okay, since it don't be like this, uh, we're supposed to do it and we're supposed to get governor, we're supposed to get, we're supposed to receive allocation from the federal government. Yes. Because they, they have rewritten a lot of laws. And do you know what this means? This means <laughs> if you are a poor man, please do well to stay out of trouble. Even if it means <laughs> if person wants pit on you, you have to run far. If person wants to step on you, you have to remove your leg. You have to avoid, as in, if you see the trouble, they come, you run. Make sure, say, you run. Because if the trouble meet you, as a poor man in this country, as an ordinary man, a layman that does not have anybody in the powerhouse, believe you me, when I say you are going to suffer, <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying it with happiness, but that is what, whatever they did now, that is what it means. You will suffer. That is what it means. It means judgment will not be going to the highest bidder. It is now going to be bought. Hmm. Hey, they, know, they, they don't know. They don't know what they did. Yeah. Congratulations, Nigeria. At least forgery and fraud has been legalized by the Supreme Court. Do you understand? Do you now understand? A lot of laws have been rewritten with this singular act. Eh, hey, it is uh, B, it is the Ibus, it is this one. 
with the laws that are going to be falling in place with whatever the Supreme Court has actually come and do knock their cocoa on top. <laughs> okay. Well. You should even be ashamed of yourselves. Instead of telling us lies, Nigerians are happy with their judgment. Only a handful of our supporters are not happy. Please take note. Really? Only a handful? <laughs> are you really serious? Only a handful? Okay. <laughs> uh, you people don't know. You see, like I said, when I heard this, I was like, uh -uh. you know, I was expecting it to happen. Believe you me, with the way the Supreme Court people just they rush everything, sha, walk on, they know they do everything, kia, 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 kia. And the people will say this thing will go until November 6th, but if you are more, it could go, 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 one week, the person come manage see small food. In the rush, the food, you don't even wash hand. Could they fall? You don't even wash the place where they use put the food. You don't even mind. Now, so the Supreme Court to rush everything where they give them. I beg, majority of Nigerians welcome the judgment. Stop telling us lies. You failed. Your legal team performed poorly. Collect back 50% of the fees you paid them. Really? God is never a man. Nigerians have spoken with their votes, so I think we should go back to Dubai. Because Nigeria does not want you as the president. Or you join your hand to move the country forward. Join which hand? Which type of hand is that? Which kind of hand be that? Certificate forger, Supreme Court judges. Una try you, you have collected. Aine collects from I must win. Tribuna collects from Tunumbu, I must win. Supreme Court's judges, shame on you. Tomorrow is pregnant. Believe you me, you see whatever they did today will haunt them till will hug them for a very long time. This judgment was expected long ago. The judgment of today only came fulfilling our expectations. Most of us have been involved in election matters yet back that went up to appeal court and experience since since then told us that appeal court do not admit new evidence. Defense is purely on grounds of appeal based on the previous judgment. With that experience, I knew long ago that all the CSU this or that was going to be a wasted adventure. Nigeria should learn from this judgment. It is true that the appeal court do not have any jurisdiction to admit new evidence in appeal cases. <laughs> Sincerely, you, the people of Nigeria, make we do it in, make we not take them to heart too much. Or should, now the the case is out of you know is at least we you know the channel our attention. The you don't reach down with channel attention to the. Economy, we see the swing left, right, center. Make we see as we go, do it in stabilizer. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So, say thank you for sending in to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.